I have spoken frequently in this space about the aerosol masking effect, which I often refer to as the best kept secret in climate science. Professor James E. Hansen calls it our Faustian bargain and has indicated aerosols during interviews, blog posts, and peer-reviewed papers that the aerosols fall out of the atmosphere in about five days. When they do, Earth will heat very rapidly. I have indicated that the aerosol masking effect has been the topic of considerable discussion at the planetary level. It has also been discussed at the regional level, most notably as a result of reduced industrial activity during COVID-19. This was first described in the area around Wuhan, China. Shortly thereafter, it was reported in Western Europe and the Northeastern United States as industrial activity declined in these areas. More recently, loss of aerosol masking was reported over the Atlantic Ocean as shipping regulations led to reduced emissions of polluted bunker fuels. These regional impacts have been reported in many peer-reviewed papers and corporate media outlets. For the first time, to my knowledge, we have peer-reviewed evidence of localized aerosol masking. A peer-reviewed open-access paper published in Environmental Research Letters on July 1, 2025, is titled Anthropogenic Aerosol Changes Disproportionately Impact the Evolution of Global Heat Wave Hazard and Exposure. I will have more about that paper later. First, I turn to an article published July 16, 2025, by the University of Texas Jackson School of Geosciences. It is titled, Decline in Aerosols Could Lead to More Heat Waves in Populated Areas. The article from the University of Texas introduces the idea of aerosol masking in the first paragraph. Quote, Heat waves are becoming more frequent around the world, and while rising temperatures caused by greenhouse gas emissions are part of the problem, the declining levels of aerosols, the small particles that make up smog and air pollution, may be driving the rise even more, particularly in populated areas. End quote. The gravity of the situation is detailed in the following paragraph. Quote, this finding comes from a study published in Environmental Research Letters and led by researchers at the University of Texas at Austin. While recent research has linked declining aerosols to rising re regional temperatures, this study is the first to examine aerosols' impact on people's exposure to heat waves. End quote. The 15th paragraph of the article explains the paradox of aerosols. Quote, the study results shouldn't be taken as a license to pollute. High aerosol levels take a direct toll on human health by harming the heart and lungs, which can contribute to disease and lead to premature death. Instead, the study's findings should be a signal for cities to prepare for a world with more heat wave risk. End quote. I turn now to the peer-reviewed open access paper published in Environmental Research Letters on July 1, 2025 titled Anthropogenic Aerosol Changes Disproportionately Impact the Evolution of Global Heat Wave Hazard and Exposure, the paper was created by three scholars. The abstract of the peer-reviewed paper provides a good overview of the paper. Quote, Understanding and predicting heat wave risk is a societal imperative in the face of climate change. Anthropogenic aerosol emissions impact heat extremes more strongly per unit of mean warming, than do greenhouse gases, but the influence of aerosols evolving spatial pattern on time varying heat wave hazard and resulting population exposure has been largely ignored. Aerosols spatial heterogeneous forcing is often co-located with population centers due to aerosols industrial sources and short atmospheric lifetime, potentially resulting in amplified exposure to aerosol driven climate effects. Here we quantify the influence of historical and projected future changes in aerosol emissions on global patterns of heat wave hazard, parenthetically, i.e. the frequency of heat wave days, and exposure, parenthetically, i.e. population weighted hazard, using the NCAR Community Earth System Model V1 Single Forcing Large Ensemble. Our results show that increased aerosol emissions since 1920 have suppressed heat wave frequency over populated regions by roughly half through present day, a trend that is now reversing with shifting emission patterns and net global declining emissions. This may already be leading to an aerosol driven acceleration in heat wave frequency, a signal that is amplified in populated air regions. 
aerosols influence on heat waves is strongly co-located with population creating outsized exposure which evolves through time with aerosols evolving emissions pattern within this large ensemble our results suggest that near-term changes in aerosol emissions will be a disproportionate driver of trends in heat wave exposure meriting dedicated future study and that aerosols evolving spatial pattern should be considered in attempts to attribute recent heat wave trends to human activity end quote i couldn't agree more with this latter conclusion quote aerosols evolving spatial pattern should be considered in attempts to attribute recent heat wave trends to human activity end quote the aerosol masking effect has been ignored far too long by paid climate scientists corporate media personalities and government figures As I have indicated previously, I am not interested in making these latter people pay for their sins of omission. As always, I am simply interested in the presentation of evidence. The aerosol masking effect was reported in a peer-reviewed paper in 1929. That paper was titled, On the Atmospheric Transmission of Sun Radiation and on Dust in the Air. Published about 96 years ago, it remains little cited. In fact, the idea it presents, aerosol masking, remains largely ignored. Understanding the aerosol masking effect is critical to understanding anthropogenic climate change. I recognize that it is inconvenient to tell the masses that they must reduce their emissions of fossil fuels while also allowing billionaires to pollute the planet to retain aerosol masking. Inconvenience aside, let's not take the blame for the occasional trip that brings us happiness. The daily practices of billionaires need not be a model for the rest of us. However, we must not allow societal influence to reduce individual joy. Life without joy is pointless.